Hello everyone, John from Agile Analytics here. Today I want to show you how to create a hierarchy of coordinates in Power BI Map Visual, which by default is not possible and I came across this limitation in one of my recent projects. So I had to spend some time to find a workaround for that and eventually I ended up with a very simple but effective solution using DAX, which I'm going to share with you today. So let me share my screen and show you my demo report. Okay, so here we have a sample Power BI report with just one table in the data set, which represents a list of locations broken down into three different levels. So as you can see, I have column named location two, uh, location three, and location four. Each location two belongs to one and only one location three, and location three may have multiple location belonging to it. Same is for location three, it can belong to one location four, which creates a basic hierarchy of locations. Now the remaining several columns represent coordinates coordinates of location two, coordinates of location three, and location four. And the last column is some numbers for location two, which can be aggregated. And if we want to have these numbers for location three, we will just uh, sum all location two numbers belonging to location three, etc. So it, it's a very simple example and I decided to use this just one table data set for demo purposes but but the method I'm going to show can be of course used for more complex data models. Okay so as you see I already have some visuals created for my highest level of hierarchy which is location 4 and in Power BI creating hierarchies is pretty common thing. And, and you can do it easily, just dragging in additional fields into your uh, visual configuration area. So like, for example, here I have bar chart with uh, my location for as Y axis and some numbers as X axis with uh, aggregation set to sum. And if I want to create hierarchy in this bar chart, all I need to do is just bring in my other location levels. And after that, I will be able to move between locations, drill up, down, and Power BI will aggregate my numbers accordingly and display that in, in the visuals. Now, I have also slicer for filtering. And right now I have location four here in this slicer, but I can also create a hierarchy dragging in additional columns and that will work perfectly well. So I can just select whatever I want from my hierarchy of locations in Slicer and that will be used for filtering all other visuals on the page. Now, I also have a matrix visual with hierarchy four, location four, and I can create hierarchy of locations in the same way. Okay, so my sum numbers will be aggregated based on what level of hierarchy I expand or collapse, or I can expand all, and that will show me all numbers for each location too. And I can use cross filtering or drilling up, down, so pretty basic scenarios, right? With maps, it's a bit more complicated. Let's start from a basic scenario when I just need location four to be displayed. So I'm dragging in location four to my location field and my metrics, which is some numbers in the bubble size field. So that the size of each bubble is proportional to the total number of my numbers, total sum of my numbers. Now it looks, it looks okay. So I can bring in other location and so you will think, okay, that's nice, 
the hierarchy is there. So what, what's the problem? What's the challenge? Well, I'll tell you what's the challenge. I know that all my locations are in New South Wales, Australia. But on the map, you can see that some of them are located in the United States or the UK. And if I drill down to location two level, it shows me something in New Zealand. Okay, let me check. So Wellington. Well, we all know that Wellington is in New Zealand, but there is also a place called Wellington in New South Wales, Australia. And that's exactly what I want to see on the map because I know that my data set is for Australia, New South Wales. Now, what's happening? The thing is that in Power BI maps, there are two ways of displaying objects on the map. One is based on geocoding, which means Power BI will try to analyze the name of your entity. And if it recognizes it, it will show a corresponding dot on the map. And that works perfectly well with countries, continents, states. But here in our example, we have a very specific areas, local areas of New South Wales, Australia. And unfortunately, geocoding is not really a really good option when you have local areas because it cannot know and cannot detect that, that that's something in Australia. Okay, in this case, we have coordinates, right? So I can bring in my coordinates of L4, location four, and that should work. Now let's see. Okay, perfect. I've got everything in Australia now, but I need a hierarchy. So I will try to bring in my location three and location two in my location field. But if I try to bring in coordinates in the corresponding field, that will not work because Power BI cannot allow you to create hierarchy in the coordinates field. And that's a problem. Now, if I have only one pair of coordinates here and I try to drill up and down, Yes, it will drill up and down between my location names, but it will always use the same set of coordinates, which will not be correct for all levels except location four in this case. Now, and, and that was the challenge. So I started to think about workarounds, and I remember that we have an absolutely amazing DAX function called is in scope. So I will just quickly show you the description. Scope is a function that returns true when the specified column is the level in a hierarchy of levels, which basically means that function can detect at what level of hierarchy you're currently at, right? So with this function, I wrote a simple DAX expression for each coordinate and here how it looks like. So I use function switch and then I have three conditions. In case we are at location two level, that measure will return me latitude of location two. If we check and we see we are currently at location three level, the measure will return me L3 latitude and the same for location four. Basically, this measure will check the level of my hierarchy based on location two, location three or location four column and will return me the corresponding coordinate of that particular level. I created a second measure for the second coordinate, of course, with the same syntax. And luckily I can provide Power BI map with measure instead of 
column name. And that basically solves the problem. So right now, when I move between my level of hierarchy, Power BI detects at what level of hierarchy is currently displayed on the map and returns corresponding coordinates based on that tax measure, which is absolutely simple but effective solution. And I can drill up and down using the same methods like you usually do with any other Power BI visual, and that works perfectly well. So pretty, pretty simple, but effective. And yeah, that basically solved the problem. And yeah, I was very happy about it. Hope you find that interesting too. And that's pretty much it for today. See you next time.